Winter is now here, and recently the mining community has been reminded of what better days may look like with the launch of Carlson. Where the project will go in the long run is still yet to be decided. However, the expectation of the approaching bull market continues to rise, so I thought to create a new series of videos that revisit GPUs of yesterday. I like to refer to these cards as legacy GPUs. These are perhaps the ones that we had gotten started with when we became miners. Perhaps you have one, or you're seeing very affordable options on the used market. Should the mining community still consider these cards, or is it best to retire them, making room for newer and more efficient models? To start this series, I've chosen to revisit the AMD RX 580 8GB model. I'm going to share several different projects. The first group, though, is what I also refer to as Legacy. This is because they were in development during the last bull market, which is when I became a miner. For today, I'm working within Rave OS, along with my current test bench, which is based on the old AM3 platform. When not mining, it does draw approximately 48 watts. This will be taken into consideration when crunching the numbers. To get started, let's revisit Ethereum Classic. While a lot of attention was given to Ethereum until it became a piece of shit, the original is still with us. Once up and running, we're reminded of the card's performance at 28 mega hashes at 141 watts. This gives us an inefficiency of 0 0.20. Next, to help keep the video on the shorter side, I'm going to post the results to Ergo, Flux, and Ravencoin. Note, I am including the overclocks that were used, and my intent was to identify an efficient operation, balancing decent production to the amount of electricity being drawn. Your results will vary. Now, if the RX 580 was the only card for us to choose from, we might be content, but the card is now over six years old. We have options. Using the launch price of $229 as a reference point, if we were buying a current generation card from AMD, we'd be looking at the RX 7600. Let's compare the two cards' potential hash power. Some may suggest that we should be looking at the RX 6600 as a comparison, since it's actually more efficient. It's a valid observation and highlights the challenge that is before us as we grow our operations. Do we use the card that's least expensive? Do we use the card that's most efficient? Do we buy new or used? All valid and subjective for the individual mining strategy. Moving on, the next series of projects I want to look at are ones that appeared shortly before Ethereum merged or have grabbed our attention within the last 12 months, starting with the Lithium. Let's also note that these projects tend to rely on GPU core. This seems to be a trend that is often seen in the new projects. But now we know why Caspa is not on the list, but since Carlson has grabbed a lot of people's attention, it's being included. Now I'll add the previously sheared cards for comparison. Let's not overlook Team Green. For reference, we will look at the current generation RTX 4060. I realize my data is looking more closely at the card's hash power, not the bigger picture, which includes the conversation of card efficiency. However, there is no scenario, to my knowledge, where the RX 580 is more efficient than any of the new GPUs. So to return to my original question, should the RX 580 be spinning its fans going into the new year? The answer is simply no. That said, one can do what they want. If there are a number of RX 580s in operation and electricity is inexpensive or free, is there really any harm in running them? Technically, no except they get in the way when the conversation of card density comes into conversation. Let's take a closer look, using a lithium as an example. 
If the farm can dedicate one 15 amp circuit to the operation, this allows for up to 1,440 watts to safely be applied to rig operations. In practice, 10 RX580s could operate producing approximately 5.43 gigahashes at 1300 watts for an efficiency of 4.18. I'm going to reference a video I previously made showing the performance of the RTX 4070 for comparison. One can use the single 15 amp circuit and run 12 RTX 4070s for a performance of 21.6 gigahashes at 1380 watts creating an inefficiency of 15.65. While this may be an extreme comparison, it clearly shows how the RX 580 gets in the way of growing operations. Each of us in the mining community have our own strategies, our own preferences. But one variable that we all share is the fact that there is a hard limit on the amount of power we can draw. And in due process, we will reach that limit which then leads to the question, what now? In my case, it's suggesting that the Polaris generation of GPUs be retired and move on to the side. Do you still have an RX 580 in operation? If so, share how you're using them and why. If this video made you take pause and approach the topic of card density, make sure to hit the like button. To help grow the channel, new subscribers are always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.